Okay, so I know, like, I get a lot of questions about, like, my pop-up question box, and I know that's kind of a complicated code. And I actually just put up a code so that you can um, go and put in your own background, header, and the title for the Ask Me Anything. So that way, like, if you want to do it custom, which I don't offer anymore, just because I get so many requests, you can do it yourself. It's even more complicated than the other one, but I'm making this video to help walk you through it. Now, uh, the post I made, which is right here, you should have that open in another tab, and then I'm going to use the, uh, my design blog as an uh, example right here, since it has a actually pretty basic code in it, which will be similar to a lot of yours. Now, I will also put little add-ins for the Narnia theme, because I know it has a Whittle issues, and I'll show you how to fix that as well. So, step one, which says right here, like you have to find the meta options. Start step by finding meta, it should look like this. That right there, like meta name equals, and usually have like the font and like colors and stuff like that. So, to find it, control F, which I use on uh, Windows, I don't know what it is on Mac, I think it's like uh, Apple F, but it helps you search for things, so then you search in meta. And there's that code right there, like all those. And you go back and you want to highlight and copy these codes right here, which I put on here. And you can really just insert them anywhere in there, like I'll insert at the top. And then you should have these new things on your appearance tab, like, oh, here we go. See, uh, ask background image, ask banner image which will be like images that you upload, and then uh, right here, that will be at the end, is a text box, and that's where you're going to put your ask me anything, read, please read my FAQ, etc. Oh, damn it. Okay, so, I'm going to have to go back to that because it got all messed up. I'll only take a second. But right now, those uh, appearance, they, they, uh, They'll appear here, but right now, since we haven't put any other code in, if you upload or say anything in it, it's not going to take effect until we finish putting the code in. So, like I said, you should see that, which is right there. And now we have to put in the tag under the head. So, copy the second code. And then you want to search for the head tag. Mine is right here, but again, control F, head. All themes should have this. And then, you know, just copy, and you're done with that part. And the head tag is usually at the very top, like, after you have this, and that's, uh, there's usually not much before it. You have the head tag. I would paste it right under, that way you don't get confused. And then you're done with that stuff. Now, is a little more complicated stuff that people get confused with. And you take the second code, which is right here. And you want to copy the whole thing. Now this goes under the style type equals CSS slash text tag. So again, search for it. Style type equals. And uh, sometimes you're going to have a couple of these tags. You know what it is. Like I have a custom scroll bar in here, so I have it. You want to go to the. Let's see here. Find which one you want to go to. You want to go to usually the second one. So paste it. And now for you people with Narnia theme, you for some reason don't have this. So I'll show you what you would do. So instead, copy and paste the tag that I have up right there. And we're going to pretend I don't have it, so delete that. You paste it. You put the code that I just showed you. You paste it under the tag that you just put in there, and then at the end you put slash style. This is a very important thing, so if you don't do this, it's not going to look right. Like, I'll show you what it would look like if you didn't do this. As soon as I find my slash style. Like, it will just come up as, like, a text instead of having the code actually work, and it will just be completely messed up. Like, see? That just completely messed it up. So... You don't want to do that. So I'm going to go back and delete that.
just so that like I can get it to work now. But again, all you Narnia people, you have to make sure you do that. Make sure you put the slash style and everything. And my blog should be going back to normal in a second. And usually this tag is located not under the head section, but in the head section before it goes slash head. So. Okay, and now that we have that part done, we're going to move on to the next step. And this is the last step. And uh, you take the last code, which is right here, and you will have to search for the slash body tag now. So, slash body, and this is almost always at the end. Uh, slash body, and then something under slash HTML at the end. Now, some themes don't have this. I've gotten questions about it. And if you don't have it, what I would do is like a polyfill like this and you won't have it. Just at the very end of your theme code, add slash body. And then you paste the code and you're almost done here. Now, everyone gets confused and misses a step and it's the most important step. Right here, you'll see it says tumblr.com slash ask form slash your Tumblr username. Now I have that so that people know, but obviously I can't put in everyone's Tumblr username because I don't know all of you and you're the ones doing it, so you take that, you delete it, and you put in your Tumblr name. Like for this, I would put designing designing your blog. And that is a very important part. People miss it all the time. And that should be done. So we have the code almost completely up now. Oh, by the way, I should have mentioned this earlier. I usually use um a different kind of customize. I've heard if you use a new customize, it takes forever to update and doesn't always work. I've never really used a new customize. I don't like it. So I go tumblr.com slash customize dash classic. And you guys will probably only need classic unless you're doing a secondary blog, which this is my secondary blog. And then you just put slash in the name of your secondary blog. And you get the old, some of you will remember it, some of you won't, the old customize thing, which I find works so much better. But um, anyways, back to where we were. We have it all done. So now we just need to upload the stuff. So I'm just going to pick some random stuff for it. Like, uh, here we go. Ask background image. So don't mind that I have like a million folders full of everything for it. We're just going to go to my backgrounds tab and pick, pick the first one. Now, ask banner image. You will not need to resize your banner because I already put the sizes in there. So I'm just going to go to banners and choose like one of the first ones I have and wait for that to upload. And, and then uh, under the, just put, uh, we're just going to do please read FAQ. Now we're almost done here. The other really important part is to put the pop-up light thing. And most of you, if you are not doing the custom one, will be on alisoncodes.tumblr.com. And they're all almost the same. We're just going to pick a random one and see what it does. Okay, this is the last part. You take this code. Now, we're just going to put ask me. You can change it, and I'll show you how to do that in a second, but just copy the whole thing. Now, this is another part where people get really confused. Now... On here, I have an image for the ask, but you should be able to find your navigation. You could do slash ask to search for it. And here it is right here, like designyourblog.com slash ask. So what you're going to do instead is delete the whole thing and put the code. Now you can change it to uh, message. Or you can change it to 
uh, talk to me or whatever you want. And um, I guess I'll try to show you other things it could look like. I don't have all themes on me. Most of my themes are custom that I use. But uh, like for this, I searched slash ask. Another thing that will show up a lot to search is ask enabled like that with the little squiggly things at the end. Um, or like say that on your theme, your ask is called message. So you would go in the search bar and search message. Search the ask enable. Any of those will most likely get it to you. Um, this is a part that I really can't show everything for because each theme is different. But anyways, I did the part on this one. So right here, we'll just say talk to me. This isn't designed very well because I'm not going to show you all the designing aspects because, you know, you can do that on your own. And now you just click save. And I'll bring you to the regular custom screen, which I don't use, so I just press save again just to make sure it works. And now, just test it out, go to your blog, designingyourblog.tumblr.com, which is mine. Then you click the link, like mine is talk to me. And then I'm just going to show you an example. Like, uh, this is one of my test blogs. Just click the thing, and I just upload some random stuff, and see, there's the background right here, the banner, blah, 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 which is my, uh, ask me anything thing that I put in just for show. This part right here won't show up, that's just part of a dashboard theme I have installed, so I just see it on my computer. But, uh, that's how you install it, and I hope you guys like it. I did this so you can customize it completely yourself without having to have as much knowledge. Obviously, you need to have a bit because it is a kind of complicated code. And I'm just going to put this video up. And if you guys have any questions, I'll either edit the video or make a new one asking questions. And thank you.